The following is a presentation of TFNN. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Every trading day, live at 10 a.m. Eastern. Call now, toll free at 877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 324, NASDAQ off 126, S&P's off 43, gold. Gold contract up 580. We're at 1287. You get silver flat, $14.80 an ounce. Light sweet crude down 77 cents, $61.34 a barrel. Now, it's going to be interesting that we uh, had those uh, numbers, and the uh, bottom line is that it looked like... Uh, we had a draw, but guess what? The market is uh, still selling that baby yep. off. You had the EIA inventory draw, yep, yep. and uh, still nothing too dramatic. Notes and bonds, guess what, folks? Ever ready battery. Uh, this is like Groundhog Day. Higher price, lower yield. You get the 10 year note up a half a point, 124.07. 30 year up 25 ticks, 149 in King Dollar. King Dollar down 313 ticks, trading 97.07. The euro is at 112.5. The yen is at 109.5. And, and the pound is at 130 to 1 US dollar. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Kevin Hinks at TD Ameritrade. Think of swim as we do each Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And don't forget, folks, you want to understand option, option strategies, futures, great program, every trading day, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time. And you want to know defined risk? Uh, guess what? You better get your head wrapped around defined risk because uh, just give it uh, 20, 30, 40 minutes, and these S&Ps can be up 20, 30, or down 20 or 30. I guess so. Kevin Hanks, what's going on? Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Tommy. Yeah, Tom, this is a time when you want to have your unit covered in yes. some way, shape, or form because, you know, this is a classic definition right here of uncertainty in markets, right? For this whole trading day, there's going to be uncertainty, and markets don't like uncertainty. So this is what we're going to have to deal with today till we get some level, some degree of certainty, you know, the end of the day today or tomorrow morning, whenever it'll come. But this market right now just, you know, uh, Trump made some comments last night that threw a little more uncertainty into this, and this market doesn't like it right now. Yeah, you know, we, we're looking at the VIX, Kevin, right? Can you go over these numbers for us for the VIX again? Because for the, for the new listeners, too, it, it's really crucial to understand how this works, folks, because it's pretty cool, man, right? Definitely. When you really wrap your head around it. There's, a, there's something called the rule of 16, Tom, and it's this. You know, it's... It's a standard deviation, so it's it's 31.8 percent and 60 68.2 percent. But traders round to one third, two thirds. Okay. okay. Once you get there, so that's what what I mean by that is a third of the days, a third of the days. If the market averages the S and this is the SPX now. Yeah. If it averages a one percent move, that justifies a 16 VIX. Okay. Okay, yeah. now, where we are right now, closer to a 24 VIX, yes. that is, same parameters, third of the days, that justifies, a, that's a 1.5% move right. in the SPX. It justifies a 24 VIX and a 2% move, a third of the days on average justifies a 32 VIX. So that's the way... You know, our, your listeners can can look at this and say, okay, the market's down here. Is this VIX level right? Is it accurate? Is it too low? Is it too high? That's the way mathematicians and people look at the VIX and how it correlates to how the overall market is moving. I, I love that whole thing. You know why, folks? What happens is that we haven't had high volatility for a while, so it's important to understand that, you know, like the VIX, as Kevin just said, is at 223.3. Well, you can expect, you know, a percent and a half move either way. I mean, it's not telling you which way, but the bottom line is that that's, that's a cool thing to know coming into that's a market. That's what the market's implying, and then it, you get to decide if you think that's going to happen, it, then you're either it, buying or selling volatility, it, exactly. right? Exactly. Yeah. And this right, is, exactly, because you may look at this market and say, huh, based on the way this market's moving, maybe that 23 VIX is a little high if I think the market may stop here and go back up. Because yes. if the market goes back up, I, you know, the, the VIX will probably come down a bit. 
That being said, if you think, well, boy, this market is much more volatile, it's looking like a 2% move, you know, some of the days, or it's making a 1.5% move more than a third of the days, maybe two out of three days, that would justify a higher number. So these are the things that it gives you, if you know that rule and you keep that rule handy, it's a way to look at the market, look at the level of the VIX, and make a judgment on implied volatility. Yeah, so cool. So cool, no doubt. And, you know, I, I, I switched gears on you for a second, but I, yeah. I'm sure you saw this, man. Stamps.com, man. I mean, I guess they, they you know, once they stop, stop doing business with the post office, if you haven't seen this yet, folks, it's pretty incredible. I mean, they announced the last time that they stopped doing business with the post office because they wanted to do business with everyone, and the stock went from 203 down to uh, 82. Well, we just went from 82 down to 37 overnight. Psycho. Well, yeah, there it is. Like I've, I got, I've got it up on my board right now. Looks like it's down 54.8 percent, trading 37.60. It's pretty amazing. You're on margin. You owe money. Oh man, that's pretty For, remarkable. Forget that. That's yeah. that's something else. Yeah, yeah, and that is a stock, guys. That. Boy, what, not long ago, was it $200? Yeah. No, you know, when the, Tommy and I were talking about this last night, you know, it's like he was calculating what they lost in the market cap. Yeah. As, and of, it was last, like, as of last night, I think the market cap was like a billion and a half. Yeah. And that means they started at like $6 billion, so they've lost $4.5 billion. And By making that decision. Yeah, I don't know yeah. um, how you have growth in the future if you're not around. Oh um, yeah, that, that, that is not an impressive chart. And, and that's why, you know, volatility, guys, is mean reverting. Stocks aren't mean reverting. That could go down there and never come back. Right. right? Implied volatility, if you're trading, even in this name, implied volatility will, you know, if it's, if it's extremely high right now, that doesn't mean it won't come back, revert back to its mean eventually. That's what professional traders love about implied volatility. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Yeah. No, I, and, that, and folks, okay, remember something. Okay, all these programs are archived. Rerun what Kevin just said there, because if you really get to start understanding the option market, that's crucial to understand, because all it means is that you get explosive move, and then it calms down. Sure, right. You know, and, you know, it seems that markets, nothing is always in markets, but markets do that quite a bit. You know, you get volatility right. comes in, calms down for a while, volatility comes in again, yep. you know. And, uh, and it reacts, right? It reacts to the news that's out there. Look at the whole chip space this morning. Yes. Based on what Intel came out and said yesterday. Oh, I'm right? so glad the you brought that up. Is moving. Yeah, and, and what Kevin's talking about, folks, Intel is what tanked the market yesterday at right. 20 minutes of four. Of four. I was kind of, I was on the air, Kevin. I'm saying, what just happened here? And then I f realized that it was Intel. I think they almost might, came out early. I don't think they meant to come out with that before the, yeah. before the close. Do you know what I mean? Because it's like most yeah. times you wait till after the close, and it was so close to the close. I said, well, yeah. yeah. But I mean, there's n there's virtually no stock in that sector that's not being beat up because of that news out of Intel. Oh, there's no oh. doubt. I mean, and the, what the news was, folks, is that they said, uh, listen, things are going to be flat for a year and maybe a little bit lower. So it's like, yeah, okay. single low single digit growth for the next three years. They said that's heavy. That sounds like dead money. Dead money. Listen, you want fast money, folks? Forty five minutes from now, outstanding program. Understanding option, option strategies. Kevin, you have a great one, safe one. Have a great weekend, and we look forward to speaking to you next Tuesday. Great talking to you guys. Have a great day. Thanks, Thanks Kevin. Too. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. The Taz Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of Taz Market Profile, the Taz Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, 
the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the Taz Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at Taz has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the Taz Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the Taz Order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the Taz Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the Taz Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's down uh, 321. We get the NASDAQ off 121. S&Ps are off 42. And let's see. I want to see what, uh, what actually... Uh, so uh, we had gold catch a bid here. I yeah, we sure see did. We had some currency action as well, I believe. Yeah. Um, so let's see this move. before we came on the... Yeah, so nice move. So was that the 830 move? 930. 930, like, right okay. On the open. So you got juice inside of this. Gold's been pushing into this swing point the last two days with volume. Now, it hasn't been able to basically hold price. You know, yesterday you can, I mean, uh, yeah, yesterday you can see a nice day, 303,000 contracts, 1292. You're dealing with the 1290. 1290 right there at the 279. So we're going to get the volume out here today, too. We'll see where we can get the crack. Now, I wonder what just, so at 930, what come out at 930? Mm. I guess it's just the volatility, right? Yeah, I, yeah, I think so. You know, it's not like... Uh, I was just going to go because currency is just taking a look. Yeah, the dollar go, came down south, too, pretty quickly. Yeah. Same time? Yeah. Same time, Same for time. sure. Cool. Okay, so... that's so, the dollar, there's your euro, yeah. the inverse, you have the yen, and then the pound as well. Yeah. Um, zooming in a bit. That's 9.50. Yeah, so 9.30 is But you can see that basically 9.30, yeah. right? So maybe that was the tweet. There, there was a tweet out uh, by one of the uh, uh, China news dailies that they didn't think the... They were told that they didn't think the deal was going to get done. But I don't think anyone thinks the deal's going to get done. It's, I mean, it's already Thursday, right? <laughs> yes, it you is know, Thursday. You're not going to walk exactly. into town and get a, a deal done. Exactly, man, for yeah. sure. The real question is, is that uh, are they going to call a truce? Uh, R is at uh, 1201 uh, bottom line, 25%. They're going to they're gonna have a very limited time to negotiate before those kick in at 1201. Yeah. Uh, so, natural gas. Yes. So it's Thursday. We get natural gas numbers at 1030. Let's see, I'm going to close out some of these windows real quick. Um, check out oil, right? And that's what we were talking about even yesterday, backing yeah. things up. So there's 1030 on the bar. We're trading at like 6150. You did have a huge draw. You made it up by 1130 which um, would have been a nice trade for volatility. I mean, you're almost 80, right. 85 cents right. in, in that hour following the news. But 
like we said, I mean, you're back down below where we were at yesterday, which is pretty surprising. It's, it, it is. Because it's, um, it's just the opposite of what we've been talking about the last month, it, right? It sure is. Yeah. It sure is, for sure. Uh, Excuse me, let me close these out. All right, we're going to take a look at natural gas. Let's start it off with the 11 AMs. We're looking at the June contract. We're trading at 258.7. So we could have exposure from 260 in either directions if in either direction if we wanted to. Um, 1.3 penny head start to the downside. Okay. A little much, maybe. You know, if you happen to be a little bit bearish, yeah. that's a nice setup, and you could still get yourself exposure to the upside. Um, and like we always say, you could always take one side we look at both sides because you don't even have to pick a direction uh, but if you were ever bullish man these are where these really become affordable you're getting in at 2605 um and you know you have basically that's your limited risk you're up to the upside now the bearish one's going to be the one with intrinsic value a little bit more expensive because you got about 13 dollars of that 18 is just straight value right. five of it being premium you got about five of premium on this side so you're looking at Twenty-three dollars. Okay, two point three cents. Yeah. And like I said, if you're bearish, not that bad, right? Because you're already a penny and a half to right. the downside. Let's see. So going back, let's see where the noons line up. Again, the contracts trading at two fifty-eight seven. All right, we're gonna get the same exact contracts. So it's nice here. There's the difference between an eleven a.m. Yeah. And noon. So it says that paying five bucks, you're gonna pay seven bucks for the bullish. And it's going to be probably a similar seven dollars in premium plus the intrinsic value. So for noon, you're looking at twenty-six. Not bad. No. Two point three, two point six, right? Yeah. And let's just see how the dailies line up real quick too. Uh, excuse me. Two thirties. So there's two sixty. Now the bullish one says seven's going to be twelve. And the bearish one is going to line up. And 26. So 26, 12, 38 bucks to go, uh, which is basically almost call it 40 with commissions. So you need four pennies away from 260. You have till 230. Um, and we'll see what happens, man. And I believe they're looking at, can you go to Whisper again? They're looking for a build, right? Just real quick. So put in the number. What do we put in? 140? We put 140. They're, they're looking, looking for 85. 85. Pretty small. Yeah, yeah, 85 built. So let's, let me just look at this contract for a second. So let's see. NG NGM maybe NGM NGM Yep, that's it. Okay, so yep, 258.2. I think the live ones at like 258.6, but pretty close to right where we're at. Oh, look at that. Ooh. So that's <laughs> we got a build. I see. We should have put a small build in. Oh well. This looks to me like it was, that's a good sign of strength yesterday. So we'll see where it goes. So what do you think? Uh, I, I bring think us with you. I didn't get any. I'd, I'd say I'd say <laughs> that uh, yeah, this wants to go higher. We're okay. to test the high of yesterday. I got two sixty one. Okay. That's only three pennies though. Two sixty one. Yeah, and realistically, we're almost up to two fifty nine right, right now in live time. So let's go to our man Paul in Henderson, Nevada. What's going on, brother? What's going on, guys? Good How morning, you, Paul. How you been, man? Good morning. I've been great. Trading has been, oh, baby. It's been uh, <laughs> something else, I'll tell you that. Yeah, I've been thinking of you with that I was Bitcoin too, man. over 6,000. I saw, I saw yeah. headlines. I said, yeah. oh, we haven't heard from Paul in a while. Yeah. I mean, he's busy. Yeah, Bitcoin over 6,000. That looks good. I mean, there's a big resistance there. So, you know, we'll see if it could hold it and take that next leg up. But, yeah, um, yeah I mean, trading, you know, just across the board in the general market, this big move down has been pretty intense, and it's just been so much action. I, you know, I can only focus on a few things. So what happens here, and this is pretty cool, Paul, right? The when you're trading, when you have high volatility, it's always much better for traders. You know, like some traders don't like it, but I can tell you that you'd like it because uh, oh, what happens it. is that if you're actually trading, folks, I mean, in getting in and out, and don't get greedy, you can really get things done fast okay but you need to have volatility because sure. if it just goes slow it doesn't work man do you know what i mean it's 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 you know you sit there all day long when you get volatility you know you can be wrong you get out you can be wrong you get out you you you, you know you get in you're right i mean it's it's just it's it's one of those deals you get enough movement both ways so so and today there's been volatility both ways like um i'm calling about the soxl but just real quick like uh this trade desk to the downside, I mean, this thing is just getting demolished. And then the flip side of that coin, you got something like Roku, which is breaking all-time highs yeah. um, in a crazy market like this. So it's pretty 
It's pretty intense. It you is. Got moves, you know, all the way around. Oh, look at this trade desk. Oh, my God. Man, you get some smoke in here. What the heck happened here? So this is uh, this is online advertising technology, right? Yeah. That is a uh, man. Yikes! If you're holding that long, I mean, it's getting all the way into that big gap on its last earnings, getting really close to it already in just one day. Yeah. Intense. Man, it's pretty wild. Is that when you actually look at their numbers? The numbers doesn't don't look bad. So they must have guided down for, the, for the year yeah, the, because there's, uh, there's something in there that is not uh, they beat on revenue basically yeah. they, uh, they beat on earnings per share yeah. um, they beat on fiscal year EBITDA <laughs> uh, they beat on fiscal year revenue man yeah. they so, beat on everything but something in there yeah. stay right there for, Paul stay right there folks uh, we'll be coming right back our phone number is 877-927-6648 we have the Dow down 400 NASDAQ off 147 S&P is down 50 taking that leg, next leg down folks come right back Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then and head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, natural gas. There's the number. We got stockpiles rising 85 billion cubic feet, pretty much right at median estimate, which was 86. Jumping back to the chart, see how we're trading. Excuse me. We're at about 258, so down about half a penny um, from that number. Not a huge reaction, as you might expect. Pretty much right on the right. number. So right. we'll see what happens. Yeah. We're talking to Paul from uh, Henderson, folks. We're talking. Um, well, we're going to talk to Sox. What are we going to talk, Paul? 
Yes, I want to take a look at the SOXL oh, and oh, kind of, um, you know, I'll call you in situations like this because I'm trying to, uh, you know, get better and better as a trader, and you just spoke about being greedy. And um, I kind of want to know what you think here. I set this trade up anticipating it was going to do an ABC down after it, it topped. Yep. And I went short on May 1st okay. at 83, at 183. Yep. And then you had a couple day bounce, and I thought I was going to get stopped out, but I was going to put my stop above the high. Yep. And now, you know, we're all the way down here, and I'm, I'm curious kind of how you would look at this from your perspective, and I'm thinking that it's probably a good time to take profits, but perhaps we could get all the way to where it, it broke out down at 137. Okay, so watch. This is, pretty, this is a great question, and particularly because when you're either swing trade or day trading this and you have a high volatile market. So what I do is this, and sometimes... I forget to do it. Most of the times I don't. Um, when you're in a market like this, folks, right, what you don't want to do and you're in a winning position is sell it all or close the trade. What you want to do is put the order in to close the trade in case there's a spike. And you just say, okay, that's all right. Do you know what I mean? Like so, are you talking about order below or stop? No, a stop above. So okay. he shot. Uh, yes. You shot this, Paul, yes. right? Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. So, so watch. So, what I would do is this. You know, you you you're down 16 bucks, so you're in the money 16 dollars. You can do it two two different ways. You can say, okay, listen, it needs more breathing room than the last buy, which is 151.90. Okay. Then you can look at it and say, okay, the the big downdraft here, which will be hard to get back into, is 156. You see that 156? It's the yeah. first part of the day. Yeah. yeah. So what you could do, you could say, okay. I'm going to put a stop in all day, 156.40 or something. You see what I'm saying? And just leave okay. it. Just leave it because what ended end up happening, if something gets explosive on the way up, guess what? You're out and you made money. Now, this is early in the morning. Let's picture this takes another leg down. Then what I would do, you take a look at these bars, then you put, bring the stop all the way back down again. Do you know what I'm saying? All day long, that's what you do. And then at the okay. end of the day... You definitely want to make that decision, though. You're going to have to make a decision at the end of the day that's, you know, cut, you know, make, take your profit or not. But intraday, when you get a day like this, that's what you tend to do. I just keep bringing them down, 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 and you let the market kind of stop you out on a bounce, you know, because sometimes you don't get a bounce, and that's what you're looking for. Do you know what I'm saying? That, okay, if you don't get a bounce, instead of just selling out. Now, what you do do is that you're going to give up a few points, I mean, that's what you have to basically kind of look at, too. You know what I mean? Because in that case, you're up 16 just today. And where I, where I said to put that first stop, that's like okay, six, six points higher. So, sure. you know, you got to take that into consideration and just see where you're at. You know what I mean? But in your case, I would say just leave it because you are shot at, at 83. Which, that's about as good as you can get. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, the, uh, and then other, okay, I, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I have a, you know, one of the hardest things for me to do is uh, hold through even a small back, even when I'm in the money. And a lot, a lot of times I'll get out too quick. I'll get nervous. Um, I want to take the bread. And then if I would have just held through the uh, retracement a little bit, it takes that next leg down. And I'm like, man, sometimes the trade could be double the profit. And I've been listening to uh, old traders like Jesse Livermore and that, um, Reminiscent of a stock operator, and these guys all talk about you. Know, you you got to try to stay in the trade for the big bread, and I'm really trying to learn how to do that better. So, so let's go back to that one. So the way that can help, maybe, okay, is that you, you turn around and you say, okay, so when we when we bounced yesterday, right? <laughs> what you're going to see is all these bounces yesterday. They were on light of volume. Now, what I would have done on this one, I'd, I'd be looking. And see the bounce that it was in the morning at 11 o'clock? Okay, so this, this did uh, 26,000 shares when it bounced at 11. Take those crosshairs and put it over and see what it's going into. And we were going into 64,000 with 51. Now, that's a close call, man. But you can see the real benchmark there was the 116,000 at, one, at 173. Mm -hmm. And we only made it to 174. You see that? That was the test. That was the test, Paul, right there. Okay. And it couldn't handle it. I see it. what you're saying. And it couldn't handle yep. it. That's, that's kind of what I do all day long. You do the, the exact same thing on a continual basis, and then, you, then on a daily, you, you push them against them. And as soon as you see that expand on volume, or if it holds price, then you've got you to you basically say, okay, man, this thing wants higher price, 
or if you're on the other side of it, this thing wants lower price. You know? Okay. And like anything else, you know, it's not 100%, but it, in a high volatile market like this, you're going to be surprised how well that whole deal goes because the, the bounces are incredible too, man. I mean, you know, these bounces can come out of nowhere. And most times they do, because when we're just talking to Kevin Hinks, that's important to understand that when that volatility gets high, volatility in itself, for some reason, the marketplace means you're going down. But the bounces in between it are pretty pretty wild, man. <laughs> you know, so. Yeah, they definitely can be. Yeah. Um, well, right on. I really appreciate the lesson very much. And uh, I've learned so much from TFNN over the years. I use a lot of the techniques from several of the traders and kind of blend it into my own system. And uh, Still trying to get better every day, man. Well, you, you're going to get every, I tell you, right now, And when you get a market like this, you can learn a lot more because the moves are so fast. So it's, you know, and that's whether you even have a position on or not. It's just that you're seeing markets go up and down, and sure. you see how they react. And the mind blower is, folks, and the counter trend bounces. This is what you really want to watch for. The counter trend bounces. You can't believe that it can bounce so far and then give it up again. It's like, oh, my God, what does that mean? How does that do that? Well, that's, that's how they move, man. That's just how they move, you know? So. Yeah, Etsy did something similar to that intraday. I mean, I took a short right at the, uh, once it broke the pre-market kind of consolidation, and we had a big move down, and then a huge spike up, and it went all the way. It just yeah, kind of uh, encapsulates what you were just saying with that SD chart this morning. Right. Now, yeah, if we talk about that SD chart, right? That don't. I, this is gonna. This is dangerous. I mean, if you're on the short side, because when you see a spike like that, it's like, okay, that 64 bucks can get tested again. Particularly because you see, we 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 have a buyer, 900,000 on the way up. Then we came back with only 360. That's like, okay, man. That's that's what you don't want to see in your socks for sure. That's what you don't want to okay. see because that's someone that's coming in there saying, hey, you know what? I think this is a good deal. Um, you never want to see, if you shot the equity, you never want to see a explosion of volume intraday because that means that the, has someone heavier is coming in and, you know, it may go that way. Cooking, brother. Yeah, I got that first move uh, down, and I'm already out of that one. But thanks again for the lesson, guys. Have a great day. Have Paul, a great good one. to hear from you. Uh, likewise. Bye-bye. So, uh... We get Uber this afternoon too. Yeah. Poor, poor, poor. They start trading tomorrow, right? Yeah. Is that what, we get a price tonight. Is we that get what a price is? tonight. Poor, poor, poor Uber after after Lyft because it's like I, poor, I, poor I Lyft after Uber. You could say the same. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you know, I don't know what they're they're pitching. Well, we do have the numbers, but you know, I mean, both of them. I think it's going to go at the lower end. That's what I was saying. Yeah, I you know think I mean? so too. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com. 
educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's down uh, 374. NASDAQ is off 126. You get the S&Ps off uh, 43. We take a look at percentage-wise, folks. You have the uh, Dow down 1.4, S&Ps 1.4, NASDAQ 1.5%. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Jack Leeson, as we do each and every Thursday at 40 past the hour. You can uh, check out Jack at his website every trading day, MajorLeagueTrading.com. Jack Leeson, what's going on, brother? How's it going, guys? We've got uh, quite the action, as usual. You guys call me. The market's moving every Thursday. Uh, there's no <laughs> doubt, man. Hey, we got this whole thing set up for you, man. Uh, yeah, no, exactly. I'm just like, hey, guys, tomorrow's Thursday. The market's going to move. I'm going to get on a call. That's how it's going to go. But, yeah, S&P, obviously, I'm sure you guys have been talking about it all morning. You got the whole trade tariff deal potentially blowing up. Uh, I got no support here coming into play, and I'll go ahead and okay. share my screen for the time being, if that's cool. That'd be Perfect. Awesome, yes. All right. Let's see here. Share screen. Whoop. All right. Perfect. So, um, right now we've had a really good series of like halfway back shorts, and we've come into some profit targets. So obviously, you know, we're we've been uh, really aggressive to the downside. I want to show you some some things here. So. Initially coming out of the swing high, there was this halfway back short that broke. You, there was some participation at 29.23, and then it broke above into the close on Monday, only to hold in the overnight. And then the following day, 64.75 on that first big wave down. Um, that's where the bid finally came in. I think you know a lot of people all day long were looking for a bid to cover, and then right before close, we traded that. From there, that swing high to low, and this is just a series of measured moves, okay. came down. We got rejected at that 96. We're now in a completion phase down here below 46. Uh, and then what I would look for for the next opportunity, if we're going to pop to sell into, is just now Wednesday's high to low. And that's going to bring us up to 28.68, uh, which is the beginning of the move down here early this morning, as well as the prior low of yesterday. So that's going to be a level I'm paying attention to very closely uh, going into, you know, the rest of this week. I'm actually, I'm heading to your state tomorrow. Actually, today I'm flying down. I'm going to be fishing in the Keys. Um, so I will not be trading tomorrow, of course. You know, book a vacation, the market starts moving. But as far as support levels that I got below that are pretty important to me, okay. 2816 to 2820 levels. So if we continue to just get slaughtered here, I'm not looking for any support. And this very well could trade today until we get down to the 2820 to 2816 um, level for that. And then gold, just because I love talking about it with you guys, because you guys love gold. But, and I love gold. So last week, I think we were talking about this larger time frame, 50% or trace has been long, uh, that goes back to the swing low of September of last year to high. We saw two separate days now on the 23rd and the 2nd of May, very aggressive bids off of that. And right now, 
if we can start clearing the 1291, which is the halfway back from the swing high of oh. March 10th, okay. we will begin moving back up to the top of the range. And you can see right now, this halfway back long here has gotten a really good bid. Um, we sold off straight into it. You know, buyer stepped in right in front of it, and uh, looks like we're trying to work our way up. So, well, that's that's what I got for some of the the bigger levels here for the S and P and gold. Um, and uh, yeah, let's uh, uh, let's get chatting. What do you guys What do you guys got going on? Yeah, no, I that S and P man. If we get to the down at the S and P, that's gonna you know get the down on six hundred bucks today, and it then it. You know, we'll see how that We're already down out. more than 400, right? So yeah, when, hey, right, no. right. Oh, no, that's easy to do, man. Yeah. You're talking about 1045 in the morning. That's yeah. uh, that's not hard. I mean, there was sustained selling out here yesterday, even though the markets, you know, really weren't down. Uh, there was there was heavy pressure all day long. Uh, and, of course, then Intel, Intel came out with that news, and then it was like, okay, see you later, man. You know, uh, just the chip sector in general just brought that nasdaq uh down fast and furious you know so mm -hmm. another interesting level to watch here in the sp the uh, from the march contract lows and the futures 2846 which had some buyers this morning but we got below that 2846 we'll see if we you know end up closing back above that level but that's also a pretty important level for yeah. me because not only do we have that profit target completion but if you look at the lows of the march contract to the current high, that's right at 28.46 too. And we're right at 28.46. So the battle is yeah. on right now, man. The heat is on. The heat is on. There's no doubt, man. The heat will be on in Florida this weekend, yeah, you'll man. Have you're some, all set. You're gonna have some beautiful weather. In we the got heat. highs of 92 degrees in Tampa, man. So it'll well, be all set. That's better than uh, highs of 60 over here. So I'm wow. flying up to Boston this weekend, so I'm gonna get a little bit of highs of 60. I can handle it. I get some rain. I'm not looking forward to that. I I, I can do a weekend of cool weather, but. Yeah. 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 Gotta love it. Forget the rain. Yes. But uh, yeah, I'm looking for going tarpon fishing. You guys ever go tarpon fishing? Yes. You're gonna get, you can catch so many tarpon down there. It's insane. It's it's. You, yeah. You, I mean, you got the migration coming through. I mean, I, I I got I got on the water last year and it's like the thing is like 160 pounds. Right. Right. Well, so, you know it, I'm you excited. Know it's so cool down at the Keys, right? And you'll see it. What happens, folks, is that right in between all the docks where all the boats are, right? You're gonna see. Everyone just take a fishing rod, they throw them out, oh, sure, right? and you just keep you keep catching them and just throwing them back. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And they're monsters. I mean, but it's so much fun, folks. Okay, oh, bet, yeah. and you can't you, you can't eat them because they're soft. But uh, well, they're protected too. A lot protected of them. species and they're bony. The, yeah. the tarpon, at least. Yeah, but yeah. you'll have you'll have a blast catching them, and they roll over. They, they, you know, you can see if you if you're out early in the morning, Jack, right? When you're looking out at the water, you're going to see a small roll in the water, and that's all the top and feeding in the morning. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. I'm, really, I'm looking for I'll be I'll be up and out of the water by 6.30 for sure. Oh, yeah. You're going to they're gonna be catching them, man. And Perfect. then you see the manatees. The manatees will be out there, too. The manatees, oh, cool. they, they're, you, especially at the Keys. What happens at the Keys, folks, is there's plenty of folks that uh, there's fresh water, and the manatees are always looking for fresh water. So they're coming up to the docks and grabbing all the fresh water, and then the... I don't, I think the bait fish are just, well, the key is the bait, you know, you're right next to the gulf, so everything is right there, man. There's so many fish there, it's insane. Okay, brother, well, listen, you have a great weekend, safe weekend. Hope you catch lots of fish. Hope you catch it. I think it, I'm not sure, it might be, yeah, it's not sailfish down there. The mahi mahis, though, you're going to get. Oh, yeah? Is yeah. the mahi mahi season? It's That's always, my kind of fish. Yeah, you just look, look at that seaweed out there. Once you get the seaweed, They'll be right underneath that seaweed, get, staying cool out of the shade. <laughs> out of the sun, Smart rather. fish. Smart yeah. fish. Okay, man. You have a great one. Safe one. Appreciate it, Jack. You too, guys. Have a great one. Thanks. Later. Thank you. Take care, man. And you can check out Jack, folks, every trading day, MajorLeagueTrading.com. And uh, market-wise out here, yeah, this is, this is laying right at the 2846 right now. Sure is. And... Uh, <laughs> Some of the higher volume equities uh, that we have out here is that, uh, let's see, we have uh, uh, Roku, Roku, up $14. Into this. Yeah. Let's I wanted to see what their earnings were. So let's see. Posted first quarter revenue, beat expectations, and gave a strong outlook. Um, so while analysts were broadly positive on the print and guidance, both City and Loop capital markets expressed concern about the fierce competition. Um, but shares are up huge, man. Yeah. Let's, let's see if they get the full numbers down here. Now they get all the analyst takes. We'll get back into it in a second. Pretty amazing. Hey.
They're in a they're in the perfect sector if they can compete with because it is man you're competing with Amazon's got a streaming machine Apple's got Apple yeah. TV you know but Roku's got the cheap affordable one it gets it done it must be easy to turn the stations or something stay right there folks Tommy and I come right back I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Um... So, uh, yeah, we had some of these Roku numbers up here, right? So, I mean, nothing too staggering. There's got to be numbers even deeper than in here because in terms of, they, they just reported, what, first quarter, I believe, right? But they're seeing second quarter net revenue, 220, 225. The estimate was 218. Um, they had here fiscal year adjusted EBITDA, 10 to 20 million. The estimate was about two. Um, and they had a range anywhere from five lo five million loss to fourteen gain. Yeah, they're still losing money. That's a net revenue for the fiscal year one point zero three billion to one point zero five. The estimate was one point zero two. The range went up to one point zero five. So yeah, you could claim towards the higher end. Um, first probably... quarter net revenue they came in above though for sure. Yeah. They were supposed they... to make one eighty uh, revenue one eighty nine. They came in two hundred six. Right, and they're probably looking at that. You know, 29 million customer accounts. Yeah, it's that too bad they, they don't have the estimates on they, those. So they, I was looking. They, and, they and can grow a, big, a lot, right? I was just backing up for three. The revenue per user, too, right above it. That's, yeah. you know, you add this plus multiply this times that, there, there's your money. Um, right. And that's, that's what I'm sure you're right. That That's that's going to be the recipe for growth. Um, yeah, because look, at they, they get still get losses going out to 2020. Yeah. Yeah. All the way, fourth quarter. Yeah. Fourth quarter of 2020, they might have a... Uh, 
a profit. We'll see. Let's check back in on natural gas. Where are we on the natural gas? I doubt we're getting any. Oh, I was going to say a doubt, but nothing too staggering. It looks like a move, but realistically, we were trading at 258.5 coming into that number. We're trading seven tenths of a penny below yeah. where we're at. Even when you had a bearish head start, right? The the contracts we were looking at had exposure from 260. Even then, you barely would be able to break even right. Um, right. with getting a little negative action. So not too much of a move. Natural gas, still relatively low price. 258 oh, yeah. for that natural gas. Stay right there, folks. We've got Fast Market coming up next. And we got our man, Mr. Battles of Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. Be back this afternoon. You can expect this volatility to continue. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Bam! Go get him, folks.